What's going on guys, my name is Xenomax, welcome back to the second episode of Shiny Hunting for Shiny Tornadus. Of course we'll be doing that raid that starts in 25 minutes, but first I want to get an evolution done. I've been saving this one for a long time, it's this Frogadier right here. This was my first ever Frogadier, my first ever one that I got. It was first a Froakie, and now it's a Frogadier. So I'm going to evolve this little one right here to none other than Green Ninja. Here we go right now, evolving Frogadier to Green Ninja. 100 candy just to evolve this little guy right here. Here he goes right now. So if you guys did see yesterday's video, I was doing the shiny hunting for uh, Tornadus. So, um... That's something I've been doing. I've been busy with that. And I've been trying to get things done on my channel. So there he is right here. Green Ninja. Right there in the Pokedex. Finally have him. He looks awesome. So um, let me see where he is on my CP combat power. So let's go scroll all the way down to until we see him. He was 17 something. So he has to be somewhere down here on the bottom. Uh, let's see here. Uh, just gotta find his name. Seventeen, right here. Like to buzz. There he is, right there. Green Ninja. Might make him into my buddy. So, all right. So let's go ahead and get into today's video. All right, guys. We're gonna be going in on our first tornadoes raid of the day with five people. Three, two, one. Here we go. So we're going to try to be seeing if we can get ourselves a shiny Tornadus in one of these raid battles that we do for him. And also so we can finish off the shiny hunting before he leaves. That way when I have him already I won't have to be shiny hunting anymore. So then we're going right now with Kiram. Of course I had to do the battle with him. Oh, down he goes already. All right. In goes Gigalith. Gigalith. So we're going in right now with Kiram. I mean with uh, Gigalith. Right now, Tornadus is in the green, so because we really started. But with five, we were able to actually raid to defeat um, Tornadus with four people or five. You don't really have to have a group of 10 or, you know, 20. But if you do have a group of 10 or 20 or 14 or so, it's faster because they're, it's more damage. But five people is similar to having, like, 10 people because, um, you know, because of the combat power the Pokemon has. Or because of like how much damage you guys do. Like if you if you guys' Pokemon is super effective against um, Tornadus, you're able to do more damage, and that would actually um, higher the chance of you guys defeating him. <clears throat> Excuse me, faster. So um, right now we're going in still on Tornadus. He is getting closer and closer to the yellow. Of course, some of my Pokemon are strong. You know, it's because I'm level 41, so I'm able to actually power them up. But I'm saving my Stardust till I have enough, like, to be able to max a few Pokemon out. So, uh, I have to get 7,500,000, um, XP just to level up to level 42. Uh, hopefully, like, with the raids that are happening and some raid passes that I have, I'm actually able to level up to, um, level 42. Because the you need a lot of XP to get to level four uh, to get to level fifty, and that's more than what you had to get for when you had to get to level forty before the update came out. So right now we're right now tornadoes is in the yellow. We're almost we're close to halfway done with tornadoes here. My Magnazone is doing a good job right now. Well, down goes Magnazone. In comes Graveler, 91% IV, actually, the, uh, there is, in some of my Pokemon, there is, like, numbers and percentages. I will be talking about that in another video. Alright, today's video, we'll just be focusing on getting the Shiny Tornadus, because I really want that Shiny. It's a very good-looking Shiny, Lime Green. It's my favorite color. Green is my favorite color. It doesn't matter if it's Lime Green, Dark Green. It's still my favorite color. So, in we're going. We're almost done with Tornadus here. With a lot of time to spare, actually. In comes Tor. Here comes Tor. Here goes my Tyranitar, doing me enough amount of damage that we need to take down Tornadus. So down goes Tornadus right there. So 
we're hoping I hope I'm hoping I actually get the shiny in this raid so friendship level increased lots of goodies okay and here we go time for the moment of truth did we get ourselves the shiny Landeros in three two one nope ah I really want this shiny so badly. I'm actually going to be uh, getting myself three more remote raid passes just so I can um, raid, so I can uh, do more Tornadus raids to see if I get myself the shiny Tornadus in Pokemon Go. Come on, Tornadus, go to the middle. Excellent throw right there. So this first raid was not a shiny, unfortunately. Bad IV, but it's a bad CP. Not stronger than the ones I already have. I already have. This is my 12th uh, Tornadus right here. This is going to be my 12th Tornadus I have in my Pokemon decks. So here we go. One. Two. Three. Bad throw caught Tornadus. Alright. So let's go ahead and get into the next raid right here. Before that let me check the IVs. Oh, decent. Alright. Let's go ahead and get to the next raid. Alright guys, so we were talking about the Season of Legends, which this event started on March 9th at 10 a.m. This is going to be going through until March 14th at 8 a.m. So it says, kick off the Season of Legends with the search of legendary Pokemon. The features are event field research and timed research. Ground rock and steel type Pokemon in raids. We do get the, okay, so we had Tornadus. This was since uh, March 11th. So today marks the debut of thunderous so i'm hunting right now currently to get the shiny we do get a new shiny pokemon which is nose pass he's gonna be joining us for each other. he's he's the new shiny that's released on that was released on the 9th uh of course in appearing in the wild it's diglett geodude magnemite nose pass aaron laron baltoy beldum and rog and Rolla, and of course drober the ones that can be shiny, of course, is Diglett, Geodude, Magnemite, Nosepass, Aeron, Baltoy, Beldum, Rog and Roller. Uh, appearing from Incense, of course, is Alone Diglett, Alone Geodude, Magnemite, Skarmory, Nosepass, Aeron, Laron, Beldum, Shieldon, Shieldon Rog and Roller, and of course, Jober. The same ones can be shiny, except for Laron, Shieldon, and Jober. Those cannot be shiny. Appearing in uh, the ones that are going to be hatching from 5 kilometer eggs is Magnemite, Nose Pass, Aeron, Beltoy, Beldum. All those can be shiny except for Jober. Of course, uh, for the research tasks, the field research tasks, to get, you have to catch 5 Steel type Pokemon, which gives you Nose Pass, which could be shiny. Power Pokemon 5 times, which gives you another Nose Pass encounter, which could be shiny. Use an Incense research task, gives you Shield on. Catch five rock Pokemon will give you rock and roller, which could be shiny. Earn can earn a candy walking with your buddy gives you another nose pass encounter, which could be shiny. And win a raid will give you Skarmory. So the the ones you get from Pokestops, I'll leave a picture on the side next to me. So that is the events that are happening that started since the 9th and will be ending on Sunday the 14th at 8 a.m. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys did enjoy it, smash the like button. So consider subscribing to and uh, of course joining my Xeno army. And of course, uh, you know, so tap the little bell on your YouTube app so you guys never miss an upload. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next video.